Um, someone else he mentioned Smashing Pumpkins. Quickly touching on them because you joined them. I think it was, uh, it was just after the Adore uh, album was recorded. I think it was for the, for the tour, wasn't it? Um, and I, I saw an interview with Billy Corgan that once said that um, he made the mistake of hiring additional percussion players. He should have just left it to you and and backing loops from the album, that sort of thing. Now, what's your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, they were my favorite. <laughs> one of my favorite bands at that time. I was a huge fan. Uh, they were the biggest alternative band in the world, bigger than Pearl Jam, Nirvana. I mean, they were huge. And they had done Gish, Siamese Dream, and Melancholy, and then they had just recorded Door, and I was the drummer. I won an audition to do the tour, which was huge. I, you know, like those guys in, in, in the Smashing Pumpkins, I was shocked that they had two massive percussion setups to the right of me and to the left of me uh, back there. Now, Billy didn't hear all the noise because between the percussion and him was his Marshall stacks and the same with James Eha. But I heard all of it and it was like a lot of chaos going on. And um, I thought, and I remember saying at one point <laughs> early in the tour, I went to that percussionist. I said, dude, can you hear what he's doing? He says, no. And I said, dude, can you hear what he's doing? No, I says, no shit. I can hear what both of you do, and it's completely <laughs> crazy. It's like two lawnmowers going at two different tempos. <laughs> they were both doing creative stuff, but it was so much stuff. Uh, you know, and it had a vibe to it, but it was very intense for me because I, my job was to hold this band down in, you know, I had click track to make sure we went, played every song in tempo. You know, check out, there's a recording, it was uh, at the Fox Theater in Atlanta, I want to say 1998, maybe August, at the Fox <laughs> Theater. It's great a really memory. Great, great recording. It's two hours and 15 minutes, and you'll see I'm playing very, I'm playing these parts, but with Billy, he was always left room for improvising. So I'm playing, we have a, a structure, but when we get to these certain sections um, where, you know, I had to just it, just guess where he wanted to go. So it was a combination of structure and a lot of dynamics and improvising. And it was an incredible experience for me because most of the bands I played, when you want, like Bob Seger, he wants the same cymbal crash every night, same place. I mean... Billy was like that in many ways, too. He had a photographic memory, and he'd want certain things right in the same place, but then he wanted you to be able to just build. And he told me, you, what you're going to do in this band you haven't done before, which is play massive range of dynamics. And he was right. It was an incredible Fantastic. experience. 